Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be talking about how mempool work. We had already been introduced to mempool while we talk about how miners pick transaction and we know it contain the unconfirmed transaction. So we will learn more in detail in this video. Ok so here we have a network of participants of the network or nodes. Now let's replace couple of nodes with miner. Miners are nothing but just a special kind of node with mining privilege and we have a mempool attached to each of the participant. Every participant have mempool attached to it, whether it is just a node or a miner. And since this is a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network, the mempools are also distributed. Note that mempool as a record is not a blockchain itself. It is just a staging area for transaction. And we know block is added to the Bitcoin blockchain in every 10 minutes, but transaction keep occurring all the time. We don't have to wait 10 minutes after performing a transaction, any number of transactions can be performed at any time. So mempool is like a staging area where all these transactions goes before they are added to a block. Now let's look at an example. Suppose this node here wants to perform a transaction. He wants to send some Bitcoin to someone. So he performed the transaction. We will not go through the process wallets and other thing we will discuss in the later course. For now let's say he performed the transaction and the transaction is added to his mempool. Then it will get broadcast across the network. All other nodes will add that transaction to their mempool. Remember the nodes perform lots of checks for the validity of transaction. And only after the validation, they add the transaction to their mempool. Now again let's say this node here wants to perform a transaction. So he will add that transaction to his mempool. Then it is distributed across the network. And again let's say this miner also wants to perform a transaction. Miners can also perform transaction. After all they are a node with some privilege. So the miner add the transaction into his mempool and distribute it to the entire network. Likewise, let's say we got this much transaction. In real, lots of transactions can be included into a mempool. In thousands. Here we have just few. Now you know what happens next. The miner picks the transaction from the mempool. We have learned in detail about this. Then a miner will solve the cryptographic hash puzzle, find the valid hash and add the new block to the blockchain. We know a block contain a couple of thousand transactions. So when the newly mined block is distributed to the network, all other nodes remove the transaction from the mempool that are present in that block. This process keeps continues and this is how it works. Now let's explore something. We are back to this website and since we are talking about mempool, let's see about the mempool. Let's see mempool size and let's see what we have next regarding mempool. Okay, here we have mempool size growth. Then we have mempool transaction count. Okay, we will look at these three charts. Okay, let's start with the mempool size. This chart shows the aggregate size in bytes of transaction waiting to be confirmed. So you can see here 284.4 thousand bytes of transaction waiting to be confirmed. Uh, likewise, uh, sometimes it goes to millions. Yeah, 9.6 millions of byte transaction. Uh, it's 16 million sometime. So this chart shows uh, the aggregate size in bytes of transaction waiting to be confirmed. Uh, let's see the mempool size growth. So this chart shows the rate at which mempool is growing in bytes per second. In each second, uh, this much uh, bytes is growing in mempool. 949.483 bytes per second sometimes it is thousands okay here uh, the peak one is at 3.9 uh, thousand bytes are increasing per second in mempool so this is it and let's see about the mempool transaction count uh, this chart shows total number of unconfirmed transaction in the mempool Let's see, okay, we have uh, 774 unconfirmed transaction here. Likewise, sometimes it goes to 8000. Let's see what how much this is. Okay, 11,000 sometime. Uh, sometime it is 27,000. So, uh, this shows the number of unconfirmed transactions in the mempool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I would uh, also like to show you this. So uh, this is this shows the unconfirmed transaction. Uh, the list goes on increasing each second, as you can see here. 
the unconfirmed transaction are increasing here so these are all the unconfirmed transaction waiting to be confirmed okay the list goes on uh, you see uh sometime it is 900 700 sometime it goes to 1600 2500 the number of unconfirmed transaction and to end this video i would like to suggest you this additional reading an in-depth guide into how mempool work uh, you can visit this website i will also put the link in the description uh, you can go here and read this article to know detail how mempool work so on this note i will see you in the next video